Let's talk temperature though. Mid-teens in the central U.S., 23 below zero in Minneapolis. Head to Saskatchewan, the Northwest Territories, temperatures minus 40, minus 42 in Baker Lake. There's some cold air up there, and the cold air doesn't really start in Canada. It passes through Canada, being pushed by the steering winds. It happens every once in a while. It's what we call an Arctic outbreak. It's simply, you take air from the Arctic or the poles, it comes straight down into the U.S., and the Rockies sort of act like a bowl, so the cold air stays in the bowl, and the plains is the bowl. That's where the cold air is, and lately you'll hear the term used polar vortex, which is nothing new, but the polar vortex is wind, but it's wind way above our head, so we don't feel the wind. We seal the cold air as the cold air slides to the south. So here's an animation from NASA. The purple would be your polar air, and the red would be typical temperatures this time of the year. And even though this is from a previous year, it shows literally day by day, week by week in the winter, the polar vortex and the cold air sort of meanders north and south. But every once in a while, though, when it comes south, we feel it. And that's the polar vortex.